Yo, my people. So it's me, Ja, uh, chatting the whip. So I've got Tino. Yes. Got Tino here today, and obviously he's homeless. He's got disabilities. Yeah. Is yes. that fair to say? Yes, yes. He's homeless with disabilities, and um, so I thought I'd have, I thought it'd be good to have a chat with him. You know, and uh, yeah. So let's hear from Tino. So Tino, man. So where did you grow up? Where do you come from originally? I'm from Zimbabwe. You're from Zimbabwe, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. What was it like in Zimbabwe, man? It was all right, it was all right, yeah. Did you like it growing up there? Yeah, I liked it growing up there. Jeez, man. Do you, like, do you have lots of fun, loads of friends, stuff like that? Yes, I had lots of friends, yeah. Yeah, well, I bet you'd like to go back there one day, innit? One day I would, I would like to go back, spend some time with my friends. Don't worry, man. If I ever get rich, I'm going to send you back there, but I don't, I'll come with you. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. yeah? <laughs> Getting into it, my bro. So, you came to England? Yes. Uh, with your mother, I believe? Yes, yes. So, what, what was it like when you first moved to England? It was alright. I was working in that. Yeah, so what about as a young kid, what would you do when you first come to England? What age did you come to England? 18. Oh, 18, so you was yeah. an adult basically, yeah? Yes. So what was it like when you first arrived? I was, it was alright, I was working in that, yeah. Where was you working, man? I was working in a car wash in Luton. Was you, yeah? Yeah. Did you enjoy that job? Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. So, oh, man, so what happened there, man? How come you didn't, you stopped working, man? I, I got a bit disabled, I was built for broken rib and I was here here. Oh, God, yeah. man. I hope that gets, I hope you get well, man. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, a lot of people think that you're just out on the streets begging and stuff like that, but you actually had a job in Luton. Yeah. You were doing well. So, did you not work again after that? Was that your only job you've had in England? I've worked in warehouses and stuff. Yeah. Yes. But, but what happened there, man? Warehouses, um, they, they didn't want, they didn't need us anymore. That's how I lost my job. Ah, uh, so they, like they had, they, they didn't need no staff no more. The mid, the mid year, like yeah, it's yeah. called redundant in it or something like, something yeah, like that, innit? Yeah. Jesus, man. So that led you back down on, out on the street, out on the benefits. Or out what on the benefits, after? yeah. And then what happened after them, man? Uh, I just in, ended up um, living on benefits. Jeez, man. So how how now? So obviously you're homeless now. Yes. So how long have you been homeless? Six months. Six months? Yes. So where do you sleep, man? I sleep in town somewhere, yeah, wherever yeah, I can live. Yeah, wherever man. you can live, wherever you feel safe. Yes, wherever I feel safe that night I sleep. <laughs> Jeez, man, I feel for you, man. You know, I've been homeless at times in my life as a young kid. Yes. But luckily I always had friends, you know, I could sofa surf, stuff like that. Yes. So, like, what's it like on the streets every night, man? How does that make you feel? It's, it's cold, it's cold. Sometimes it's really cold, man. Jeez, man, I bet it is, man. Yeah. I bet it's been alright last few days with the hot weather, though, eh? Yeah, it's been alright. I, I, I was sweating, like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> better than being cold, though, isn't it? Yeah, better than being cold, yeah. <laughs> so, like, is, is, would you say living on the streets is dangerous? Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Yeah, man. I feel you know, anything can happen to you. You get attacked, you get stabbed while you're sleeping. No, man. You get robbed. Even homeless people get robbed? Yes. By other homeless people? Yeah, it could be it could be just a normal man walking down the street. Yeah, yeah, you just man. think of robbing you. Jeez, man. So what about so what about like in the know like? Because what I want to raise is like I'm trying to get into in the know they're out there for you that you can go on. I don't know like how like shelters or nothing like that. Well, there is, but you've got to go through Britannia House and that. So yeah. I'm gonna give you a try. Yeah, man. Yes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that like, you can that can happen for you in it, bro. You get me? Yes. Because obviously, man. I know how it feels to be homeless, but six months in the streets. Yes. So have you not tried like getting a job or what's going on now, man? Like, uh, I can't get a job. I've got to go for operation first. Yeah. Yes. Maybe even another car wash or something. You'd like that, innit? Yes, but I've got to go for operation first. Mm, but don't worry if there's any car wash people. You need a worker. You know, get at Tino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. He's willing to work because people don't think you're willing to work in it. Like, yeah. They don't they understand that you've got this earnings and stuff like that so is it hard getting your getting to your hospital appointments obviously you've got no money you're homeless yes. so i bet it's hard how do you even know you've got appointments i don't know i just i have a care of address that uh, way i yeah. receive my letters there uh. i bet it's hard having learned like disabilities as well eh? yeah it's very... do you struggle with mental health a bit of way bit of psychosis yeah psychosis I, i've been to linfield mountain it have I, you yeah i've been in the 136 have you ever been in there i've been in 136 as well yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad in there isn't it, it's bro? bad in there yeah. they look after you well though don't yeah, you think they, in the 136, they feed you well they though, feed yeah. you yeah look yeah. after you man yeah, i've been in the 136 uh, I, I got what happened to me is that drugs in it i took drugs i, I started going a bit of loosening and stuff I ended yeah. up in there. 
All so, right. So how how do you cope with your mental health day to day, man? Like what? So you have your psychosis, like. Is that how you smoke the weed for to make you feel a bit better? Yeah, it makes me stop hearing voices and then I take medication for about four, for about four eight. Jeez, man. So you're, you're homeless, you hear voices. Wow, man, I feel for you. <laughs> I just have to raise awareness because people probably look at you sat there and think, look at this guy, you know, calling you this name, that name. But they don't know, look, you've got mental health, you're struggling with psychosis. I've been in the 136 yeah. and you've been on the street six months. Yeah. But look, if you could give any advice, yeah. yeah, so if you could give any advice like a younger generation or, or anybody out there, like, to to not, like, to get to where you've got, what, what advice could you give? Uh, the real advice I'll give is I work hard in school. Work hard in school? Yeah, get to university, get educated, get a job. Do You don't want to be stuck in the body saying I'm stuck in right now. I'm regretting my days when I was in school. I'm regretting I should have worked hard. Yeah, man. I could have been an aircraft engineer or something like that. You never know. Yeah. yeah. That's so, my advice to them. That's his advice, man. Work hard. That's coming from a man that's basically lost everything. Tell you to stay in school and work hard. Even even in this situation, he can still give that positive advice. So I hope you all show him love on this. Because you know what, I appreciate I appreciate you coming in, Tino, and speaking to him, yeah? Yes. And uh, thanks for coming on. Have you got anything else you'd like to say? No, 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 that's no, it, no. Yeah, Thank you, my bro. Yeah. Uh, just ja. Uh, negative to positive, uh, like, share, subscribe, bless.